Confessions of a Shopaholic is about learning to grow by taking responsibility for yourself. Hey bud, how's it going? If you're new to the channel, then welcome. Take a seat. And if you're coming back, Julia, I said that sometimes you need to take a break from things. Not sometimes you need to break things. Welcome back to another movie commentary reaction. My name is Sam. Steph. And we're the movie buds. Confessions of a Shopaholic. I'm showing this one to Sam today as I have seen it and he has not. Yeah, I definitely didn't really know anything about it besides Isla Fisher being in it and shopping somehow being involved. Yes, that's <laughs> good. Good eye. Thank good you. eye there, man. I like to think I'm pretty perceptive. I think so, yeah. yeah. Uh, Hazel showed this one to me a while ago and I really enjoyed it. So I reckon this will be fun. Shoes. Ooh. Wonderful shoes. Sparkly cons, huh? When I was a little girl, there were real prices. Mom prices. Real prices got you shiny things that lasted three weeks. Mom prices got you brown things <laughs> that lasted forever. Uh. Ah, yeah, okay. But when I looked into shop windows, I saw... Stuff I couldn't afford. Pretty much. Dreamy world where grown-up girls got what they wanted. That sounds familiar. Oh, yeah. It's like, yes, it is practical, but there's yeah. also the impact it has on you socially. Sure. Oh, absolutely. Like fairies or princesses. That was the difference for me is when I got older... They didn't even need any money. I realized they didn't even need any of that stuff for any reason. I just wanted to fit in with the other kids in school. Exactly. Yeah. You know? They had magic cards. I wanted one. The magic cards. <laughs> I would end up with 12. Oh, wow, yeah. Cool. Rebecca Bloomwood. Yeah. Damn. Journalist. You go one of two ways when you get brought up with an extreme kind of angle like that. Mm. Jacket, visa, belt, MasterCard. Got 1% cash back. 1%? Oh, what uh, a bargain. So she's credit carding everything. Oh, yes. Right. Good times. Moving, I met guys. You would. Be surprised I, if you didn't. You yeah. see someone cute and he smiles. This is great. Heart goes like warm butter, hot toast. This is amazing. Ah. That's what it's like when I see a store. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> a man will never love you as well as a store. Uh, I mean, depends. Uh, gotta find yourself a decent one, you know. Fingers grasp those shiny new... Oh, yes! Oh, okay. Oh, no. I spent $900. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> That'll happen. I mean, I had to get the pants to match the <gasps> shoes. You had to. Of course. You had to. Huh. Rude. <laughs> she thought she was complimenting her shoes. Uh, yeah. Somebody stole on my credit card. <laughs> She uh, uh, yes, yes, I can claim it back. On an insane spending spree. No. <laughs> Ever been to Outdoor World, please? Yes, you have. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. That tent. Yeah, yeah, you... Imagine. Oh, no. No, I didn't. For Kristen's going away present. No, you lied. I organized the collection and then we gave you the money. Oh. Like, this is funny, but she does have a problem. <laughs> she just used that money to buy other stuff and then put that stuff on her credit card. This is funny in a movie only. Yeah. <laughs> this person has a serious problem. Oh, yeah. Special skills, fluent in Finnish. Did I mention I have an interview at a lab? Yeah, you did. It's kind of a leap, isn't it? You know, gardening to fashion. Not that I meant you couldn't do it. More about what your experience is, where Pretty your much. passions lie. Yeah. Since I was 14, I wanted to work at a lab. I would be happy forever. Oh. Oh no. Just couldn't resist that sale sign, huh? Oh my god, no. Yeah, yeah. No, you don't need that. You're going to say yeah, that a lot I'm sure. in this movie, so... You just got a credit card bill. You do not need a scarf. You don't need any of these it's things. It's not about need. Yeah. That's the problem. That's why that logic doesn't work. Yeah, and she's talking about that, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Who needs a scarf? Wrap some old jeans around your neck. Do you, do you not have scarves? That's what your mother went to. Also, oh my god, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Would become part of a definition of your psyche. It looked nice. Okay, especially since I started shopping in the ladies' mm. section right mm. lately, I'm relating to this more now sure. than when I first watched it. It really is like each piece. We'd make my haircut look more expensive. Needs other things to work properly. It's not like with a lot of menswear, which is like, oh, just toss it all together. You'll you'll be all right. Look, it's fine if you're honest with yourself about it. Yeah, she's talking herself out. To, she needs it because it's good for her psyche. And I mean, she's literally having a hallucination. Yeah, <laughs> the girl green scarf. It'll be $120. Ay, ay, ay. Here's $50 in cash. For that piece of... 30 on this card? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, That's dude. That's right. She's got a strategy. 10 on that? Oh, my God. 20 on that? Oh, man, just this... Okay. The mental energy needed to keep track of all this shit. Look, it's alone. one thing when you're doing this to make groceries happen or to get your bills going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On a scarf? Declined. Could you just put this to one I side? I can't hold sale items. Ooh. Oh, man. Excuse me! It's an emergency! 
not an emergency. Did you cash back? If I give you a check for $23. A check to, to a hot dog stand. Will you give me one of your hot dogs and $20 cash back? Oh my God. It's a desperately important scarf. Desperately important. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's for my great aunt and she's very sick. She's in the hospital. Mm. I will buy all of your hot dogs. 97 hot dogs? Oh God. Dude. Who do I make it? Yeah. It's just like, dude. That means you just paid 20, $23 for a hot dog. Yeah, whatever, man. He does not care. Cost and worth are very different things. Hey, okay, so he's the love interest. Yes, of course yeah. he is. <laughs> <laughs> he's attractive and charming and has a British accent, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, he's chill too, mm, which, yes. you know, she's got a lot of energy. Yes. You're for the interview at a lit magazine? Filled yesterday. Oh, damn. Speak of the devil. Filling the AKA that bitch. <laughs> the fuck? Did the back just get an erection? She has the longest legs. She notes resentfully. Mm. <laughs> nice scarf. Bought it for the interview. Scoozy. Oh, well, you could be nice. Got a little hot in there. Interviews are being held. Ah, uh, that's right. Oh. At successful saving. The Money Magazine. Could be your yellow brick road. A very yeah. convenient set up. <laughs> Dante West is a family of magazines that acts like a family. Deeply nepotistic. Think of it as a stepping stone. <laughs> Pretty much, yes. <laughs> Once you're in, you're in. But yeah, they hire internally a lot. Makes sense. Mm. Unfortunately, a lot of companies work like that. <laughs> Are you getting the perfume off the yes. magazine page? Okay. Hey man, she's got to squeeze every penny. But it's worth 1.2 billion. Oh, I guess no. Who works there. Surprise. Rules have you spoken to all of them. Oh wow, and yes, you definitely should have just put it in your bag. We met. We did. Sick aunt. Yes. Scarf. Did you get it to her? Not yet. I did, and when a stranger is kind like that. It... Dude, stop. Like. Stop. Wow. It's lovely. Okay, she didn't dive into that one. I like it. Yeah. Do you have a resume for me? I do. Keep it sweet and simple. That's how you lie. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's <laughs> right. The bag is faulty. I can pretty much just tell you. I've been a journalist for five years. I'm very comfortable juggling numbers. Yeah. No doubt, yeah. Uh -huh. She's been making it happen. I speak fluent Finnish. Quite interesting. Why Finnish? What's behind you? <laughs> oh, my God. What? Oh, it's a naked man. <laughs> it's a naked man. <laughs> what? All right, well, a few questions. Makes you wonder what um, they're looking at on the fifth floor, right? Are you okay? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's the premise of this movie. Any financial stories that have caught your eye recently? Uh, okay. And I am glad that you brought that up. I am furious. Oh, oh, about what? What is the story with the recent... Oh, man. ...fish crisis? <laughs> Fiscal crisis. Fiscal crisis. Fiscal crisis. Terrifying. Fiscally, I mean. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, you dropped your scarf. Oh. Why didn't you just shove it in your bag? Yeah. Oh, that's... Yeah. Brutal. <laughs> <laughs> Just be like, okay, I'm sorry I lied. I wanted to look good. This is such an amazing train wreck. Are you, are you? She died. <laughs> oh my god. Bloomwood, you have had a tough um, 25 minutes. Oh. <sighs> None of these are things you needed to lie about. Did you just scrub my name off? She is yeah. cartoonishly amazing. Mm. Thank you very much for seeing me. Oh. oh. Yeah. Yeah. Could have seen that coming. Let's go give Mrs. Great Outdoors her tent. <laughs> She's abandoning a sinking ship. Oh, damn. That's right. The magazine's folding and she knew. What? She knew it. you didn't tell anybody. Oh, that is oh, so brutal. So the whole thing's just falling apart. And, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she has no job now. Wow. And a fucking store's worth of inventory. You could just sell stuff and be all right for a while. Although you have that credit card debt to yeah. deal with, so. Go into the phone! I'm the Oh my god. So you have an ins- Oh my god. Okay, so sure, I'll have her call you as soon as she's come back from- Finland! Finland. Surely she's not still Thank you, bye. <laughs> Why do so many of your excuses involve Finland? That's a good question, though. Because no one checks up on Finland, Tarky. <laughs> Fair. That's actually solid reasoning. S sorry to any Finnish people out there. <laughs> I'm ripping up your rent check. You can't do it again. Well, my parents' apartment, but it's my rule. So you're getting by on her kindness? Pretty much, yes. It's gonna be fine! <laughs> No, it's not. Yeah. Two hundred dollars on Mark Jacobs' underwear. Basic human rights. Yeah, but you don't need Mark Jacobs' underwear. Seventy-eight 
dollars on lavender honey. I felt sorry for the shop assistant. The hell? What? He had a lazy eye. So? Okay. He said I was a valued customer. Oh, God. <laughs> They're going to be real wasted before they get to the end of this. <laughs> I know that it's not supposed to be good, but fu I, I fucking love her character so much. It's so chaotic. <laughs> well, again, in a comedic context, yes. yes. How are you going to pay off 16200 with no job? Yeah. And they live in New York. I could win the lottery. Oh, my God. Maybe yeah. you should have a backup plan. Yeah, it sounds like a good idea. You could write a fashion piece and send it to Alette. Like, hey, Alette, look what I could do. Oh, All right. Okay. Just like a Hail Mary. Consider your shoe an investment. Everything is resting upon it. Guys, maybe stop drinking while planning. No, tequila will make us smart. Uh. <laughs> so smart. You're the best writer ever. Wait, another one to that guy at a saving thingy magazine. Oh, no. Right. Tequila does oh, not have good God. ideas. Stick your job up your ass. Twenty dollars. Yeah. Buy yourselves decent clothes. If you weren't sure how burnt that bridge was, oh, let's yeah. just try to burn it a yeah, little harder. Yeah, sure. Let's try to relight the cinders. Yeah. <laughs> this is for that magazine. Can you guess what's gonna happen here? She's gonna get the savings job. You'll see. Okay. This one is for Mr. <laughs> Successful. <laughs> To most people, that'd be fair, but you, you kind of need to value money more. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Doesn't this just cheer you up? It's not working, Mom. It does to me. Life is like a swap meet. You never know. <laughs> like great riches. I don't know about swap meet, but I do love, you know, Vinny's. What can I get for a quarter? This. Yeah, see? Come on. It's fantastic. Uh, I don't think that's fantastic. It depends what you pair it with. That's fair. Most, most things that people consider to be ugly, it just needs the right context. It depends on who you are. And yes, that too. Mm. Hola. Rebecca, Luke Brandon, successful saving. Yeah, this is great. So I got your um, letter. Oh, God. Yeah. She sent the letter to the wrong person. Oh, yes. Yeah. It was a bit of a surprise. I hope I made my point. Uh -huh. You did very well. The whole metaphor. Uh -huh. <laughs> I see. Yes, wasn't it? The whole yeah. metaphor was... No, you're doing it too Wait. little. Wait. <laughs> what? She's <laughs> no idea. The, yeah, put them in the wrong envelopes. Mm -hmm. Describing the principles of security investment in terms of shoes, that was different. It's with you, all right? Hello. Yep. <laughs> so mm. she, uh, it gave me an idea. Just told off the magazine she wanted to work for. <laughs> yeah. Would you like to come in? I don't care. I think I just sent the editor of a let twenty dollars decent clothes and stick our job up our ass. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, at the very least, it's a power move. Curious how that's going to pan out. Is that going to go through? Oh, she's going for it. I can't quite remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it locks. It does, doesn't work that way. You are not God. employed here. Oh, boy. Yeah, if she had gone just a little bit faster. I love how no one's noticed her so she can manage to do this. Yes, which is really oh, she did. <laughs> interesting because of how much she stands out. <laughs> Hold up. This dude didn't notice her on the rack? No. Because that's a noticeable thing. He looks very skinny, but he's very strong. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> Would you like to go out Friday night? I might have plans. Oh. <laughs> I love that. That's clever. Mm -hmm. Do you ever wear any of this stuff? That is actually it's pretty It's just kind of sticking out. Yeah, it's nothing weird here. Some of it's a little far out for me. Mm, yeah. yeah. So far out. I guess that's the world of... The pink one. Go hard. I appreciate the ingenuity of this, for yeah. sure. I'm surprised that she knows Ooh. when he's actually yeah. looking or not. And Although, how is she not noticing? Yeah. I don't really get the impression she's that into this guy's thing as she's kind of toning him down so yeah it's just if she's just she not noticing? dead focused on this guy hey she got it she did I'm so bored with vertical butt yes. and is this oh, for a second i thought she said vertical buttholes yeah and i was like pardon how does that work <laughs> excuse me <-moi. laughs> degage, degage. Oh, but this. <gasps> it's marvelous nice we can use it all cool that's right i forgot how oh, well this panned out oh god she's under and they get oh come I on yeah <gasps> Oh, there we go. Somebody noticed it. Oh, God. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just lying on the floor. Is this where you should be? Just, just, totally. Just hanging, yes, it is. Just hanging out. You know, you know how it'd be. Yep. This is where I belong. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that's... Hi, everyone. What makes a magazine move from the newsstands? Um, desperation? <laughs> yeah. Unvarnished stories. A dying paper industry? Stubbornness. A successful saving is currently the magazine, a financial... Getting a sprinkling of Elle Woods in her character. Sure. From sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are you doing? Sharpening a pencil. Sorry. You could use a pen. <laughs> I know. From now on, we don't copy, we probe. Oh, she's excited. A little too excited about that prospect. She said three week trial, give her this cube of This one's lovely. <laughs> um, she would be the type to enjoy that. <laughs> I'm glad that she's stoked about it because cubicles in general are not lovely. 
Where did she what is that? going on here? You still have the label on your new glasses. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. You took a job at a savings magazine. She needs a job. It's a stepping stone. Mm. Part of a very structured plan. This is not structured at all, but yeah, I yeah. like that you've got some thought process here. It's being structured on the fly. Mm. What do they call it when an animal rights person gets trampled by a cow? I don't think there is a word for that. Isn't that irony? Ironic. <laughs> thought she was genuinely asking. Mm. Ironic that we're advising people on how to handle money? Yeah. Yeah. But it would be nice if my maid of honor could afford her own dress. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! Yes! The credit limit on your card was reached. Yeah. Please don't con someone out of a dress for your friend's wedding. <laughs> I just found the perfect book for you. Control, Control your, your urge to show. Yeah. DVD included. Oh my god, yeah. this guy. <sighs> Can't remember his name. Yeah. Does your heart quicken when you see new merchandise? Yes! No. Does it? Yeah, it does. Okay. Well, for her. No, I was asking me. about you. Oh, me personally? <laughs> Depends. Fair enough. Declutter your life. Throw it all out. No, sell. And toss it. Don't throw it out. Sell it or give it to, like, Goodwill? Yeah, look nice. She's like, no, I can just store it all. Fresh start calling. It's a start. Nah, I should sell, but honestly. You do need to get rid of some of that stuff. Do I need this? No. Kind of creepy, but I did like the effect with the mannequins. Mm -hmm. What's this? Looks as if it's been copied straight out of money for dummies. Oh. Ooh. Oh, hon. I wanted an angle. Try it again. Remind me why I hired you. Okay, well, good news is that she has to um, use her skills. Yeah. I could good, definitely... good angle on, oh my god. Oh, dude. <laughs> dude. No. Mate. Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Did you just type good angles on APRs <laughs> into Google? Yeah. Why? That's, that's what she did. I Googled. I googled. I googled, you did. You know these guys, right? Parallel growth in the communications industry. I'm not in your company. He's a good boss for actually taking her to somewhere where she can learn. Fair. In which someone needs to be asking some very hard questions. It's you. Put your hand up. You're the one who's supposed to ask the questions. Wow. No. She has zero. Oh, she really has zero impulse control, huh? Yeah. He's not listening. Louder. He can't hear him. Rebecca Billboard! Oh, God. Oh, wow. Yep. From? From successful saving. Oh, there we go. We'll be taking questions after Good. performance oh. in the Asian <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. How much do you burn? Earn. How much do you burn? <laughs> uh, uh. What do you earn? Why did you award yourself bonuses? 24 million. 23. 24. Billion. Billion. <laughs> Dude. While your investors lost 8%. Okay, she got that one. Yeah. Hey, I on feel, you. I feel like he should have written it down first. <laughs> yeah. Write it down and just like hold it in front of her. Mm. You know what I mean? Happy to answer. Is that true? Oh, that's all right. Now she got the ball rolling. Yeah. Long pause, no. And no answer. Long pause, no answer. <laughs> you know why we did that? Cool initiation, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some bizarre form of hazing? Yeah. <laughs> Security can mean different things. Some, it's going to a party wearing the right shoes. It might leave you feeling secure for an evening, but have a crippling effect on you in later life. Huh. I wrote that. Those are good yeah. words. Now, what firms like Common Text thrive? Lack of public understanding. Yeah, most big companies do. Uh -huh. Macy, with her $200 investment portfolio, what does she know? I don't know. What she's told? I don't know her. Well, case in point. <laughs> <laughs> if the magazines she looks to for answers aren't asking the right questions, isn't good for Maisie. Tell the truth that Maisie can understand. What about me, bro? Oh, I mean, you're Maisie. No, I'm not. In this situation. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. Fred. <laughs> okay. Yes, Fred. All right. I sent someone. It's a real find, actually, the girl I sent. I assume that's why West got you to recruit me. Don't assume too hard. I hired you to fix the bottom line of this magazine. Advertising revenue. We know that. <laughs> we do. To create a product that sells, not to sell a product. Huh. Yeah, those mm. are two different things. Very much. What if I'm with Edgar West? And he just turns to says, hey, Luke Brandon decided to hire a journalist who could damage the interests of Dante West. She won't. That I is mean, a good question. Couldn't any journalist do that? <laughs> yes, but I love how it's like, he doesn't know that she's not qualified for this job, mm. but he's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, technically, she does have what it takes. Sure. As you will see. Yeah. There's another entrance this way! <laughs> oh, God. Good God. Oh, no. <laughs> I've only been to a sample sale like this once. They weren't this hectic. <laughs> right. I need, as it is winter, and I have pants. So these are, what, things that companies are trialing for the future? Yes, as limited. Oh. Do I need these? No. Oh, shit. Jenny, crunchy boots! Getting that impulse control already. I had them first. I know, but you put them yeah. down. Dude, are you for real? Oh, yeah. I saw them first, so I'm going to take them. The kid with the toy instinct. Give me the boots. No one gets hurt. Oh, my God. Dude. There's a sale! 
feel this trick in the book. <laughs> thing that worries me is I don't think that this is comically over the top for the movie that this kind of shit happens. Yeah, it does. So, <laughs> That's the sad thing. Yeah. But it's kind of necessary. For her character development oh, yes. right now. Are you realizing the error of your ways? Oh, yes. I used again today. Oh, no. 95% acrylic, 5% cashmere. Oh, my God. Not even remotely worth that. Wow. That's what they get you. I know, because yeah, she's rushing. She's trying to get the thing. And you're like, you didn't look at the label. Your card is like a 50% off cashmere coat. Promises to be your best friend until you realize it's not real cashmere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've been ripped off. Exactly. Yeah. We get it. Now go away. <laughs> That's fair. That's off. Your coat isn't actually a friend at all. You should have read the fine print. Unsurprisingly, he's... She put a picture in that. ...impressed with it. This is good. Is it by Rebecca Bloomwood? <laughs> yes. Fair question, but yes, it is. My friend Sue saw me writing it. Is that how you want your name to appear? By Rebecca Bloomwood. Oh, right. Right. Oh. No, I don't want to be too associated with this magazine. Sorry? <gasps> oh! Dude. Mate! It's better to be slightly more of an everyman. Also, there might be some people in the financial sector who won't take her word seriously yes. because it's her. That's, that's a good idea that she definitely didn't think of. The girl in the green scarf. I bought your magazine, already told three stores where to stick their credit card. Okay. You never check the APR. Huh? Derek Smith. Oh, God. Yeah. You have to follow up on this. You never get this kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah, it's uh, so she's, she's the relatable angle. Yeah. I've just spent a few minutes rather wrapped up in your green scarf. I like it. Uh, a passion for personal finance. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. She... Yeah. You could say that. That's true. He is really being persistent. He's not that I'm busy. It's this charity that I'm... <laughs> Dude. Sure. Stop. Seems that he liked the column so much, sending extra copies of the magazine to his children. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I guess his children would be adults. Yeah. It's just a weird sentence. Yes, it is. There's a man holding on line, too, and he says it's a matter of life or death. Uh... Derek Smith. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's also in you the... You need uh, to answer. Oh, no. Dude, this is what happens when you fucking don't follow up on things. Yep. <laughs> so everyone... I love, I love his reactions. Is just sitting there like, what? Exactly how long has this ex been stalking Dude. you? Dude. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I knew it. Fuck. I knew Ever it. since the relationship ended... Yeah. Following me around <laughs> pretending to be a debt collector. This is only funny yeah. because it's a movie. In the, the context of the movie, I don't want to think too much about it. No, it benefits to not think about it yeah. too much. Lock all future calls from Derek Smee. It oh is my God. a clever strategy, but I don't want to give her too much credit. I'm sorry, what's a clever strategy? Oh, just this being like, oh yes, he's a stalker, and therefore they're going to oh. block all communication. Yes. Yes. But the whole... Just that. <laughs> I'm going to put off my problems till later. No, 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 no. There's nothing worse you could do. No, oh, I know. Money is what I came to talk to you about. She's very much into deep. We just don't spend, we save. And we built up quite a little nest egg. Right. Yeah. So in other words, her parents are solid. We decided. Wanted to call you here. She thinks that she's getting uh, bailed oh, out. No, no, you're not getting bailed out. We spent it! Yeah. Nice. <laughs> hey! <laughs> They took her advice. <laughs> nice. How much did they really have if they spent everything on this? Oh, those things are expensive. He's wanted one of these since the day I met him. Okay, fair. Those things are really expensive. Oh, yeah? Apparently. Okay. I, have no, yeah, yeah. I have no frame of reference. Like good quality ones, yeah. They sent us this It about really makes you sit up and think about money. About it investing in what you buff. Yeah, I mean, preferably don't yeah. wait until like you're like older to enjoy your life. Try to enjoy oh. it. By someone called the girl in the green scarf. <laughs> Through your... <laughs> they read her fucking article? <laughs> of course they did. Okay, good, good for you guys. But yeah, enjoy your life while you're living it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Not like, to say you're not living it when you're older, but just like, yeah. also earlier. Yeah, yeah. I want you to come with me to the APA conference. I should definitely be there. Find good restaurants in case anyone wants to relax. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's why you're for excited. Sure. Yes, Absolutely. totally. Not that I intend to. Some people might. Uh, Glad you're so enthusiastic. I'm kind of excited myself. Yeah. Very enthusiastic. Uh, I'm sure you are, for totally mm -hmm. different reasons. You are? You've got a legit reason, don't you? Oh, bit of a slip. I mean, because a lot of people are very excited to meet you. Mm -hmm. Ah. Uh -huh. You've opened up a whole new... Tried to walk that back quick. Interesting. Demographic. You're opening up his what? <laughs> Demographic. Oh, boy. Dude. Are you supposed to be getting to a let? 
I'm on my way. Once you're in, you're in. You're in as a finance guru. <laughs> yeah. I give great financial advice. Yeah, also, that's a good thing? Yeah, exactly. Finance gurus are usually respected. So have you ever considered taking your own advice? <laughs> Even if they're legit or not? Yeah, true. Ah! Oh my god. There isn't another reason why you want to go to Miami, is there? No! I mean, it's... Maybe it rhymes with fluke. I was gonna say, because it's Miami, but yeah, also, yeah. also that. You like him! This is terrible! <laughs> no! <laughs> it seems like a good thing. Well, if she works for the other mm. magazine, then yeah. With or without that, he just seems like a good dude. Yeah. I, I yes. get the whole mm. boss employee yeah, thing. Yeah. I do. You're advising people about debt and you're up to your eyeballs in it. But no, she is right. The, the debt is kind of the most pressing issue. That is an issue. Yeah. Mm. Should probably fix that. Mm. Mm. Monsieur Sherman? Mm. Burning the midnight oil, mate. Oh, yeah. My name is Brandon. My mother's name is Sherman. Yes. Fair enough. I guess. Sure. Whatever. Oh! Oh, yeah, that's right. She's into him. Ah, cool. So far, we know basically nothing about this woman, so... We should have dinner. That was quick. She's on it. I like that. That's how you get a date. Take notes, everybody. Just <laughs> fucking go for it. You don't necessarily need to trip into anyone. Yeah. Although I have accidentally done that, so... Oh, my God. Were they okay? Well, I didn't trip hard. You're a big fella. That's true. And yes, they were fine. Okay. <laughs> Can I introduce Hi. Rebecca Bloomwood? A risky investment is like a pair of platforms. Nobody oh. has ever quoted me back to me before. Look. No. <laughs> yeah. Are you from the United North? I run it. You have the most boring window display. <gasps> oh. She means the No, opposite. no, no, I'm what serious. No, she's being honest. Yeah. It's as if somebody hit the snooze button in my brain. Yeah, you need to fix your shit. No. You need to put some pretty something <laughs> yes. to get people in. But she's being direct. Yeah, she is. And he's appreciating it. You could have a sale. A sale? <laughs> yes. Yeah, hey, Fred's character, whoever this guy is, yeah. pay attention. Keep her on a leash. She's damaging a magazine. Oh, I fucking hate that expression so much. Mm. It's a well-researched, fully supported supported article. They're not running the piece. See, this company is worth two million a year to Dante. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. See, if you can't run the piece, what's the point of having the magazine? Exactly. The columnist of yours said the most outrageous and respectfully apologize for brilliant. Dude, yeah. Just listen, Fred. <laughs> These are boring. Aren't they boring? She's right. <laughs> being honest. Uh-huh. I'll be talking to you about advertising. Great. You should. Two-faced motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. yeah. One more person here that you really ought to meet. I think having the language in common should help. Um. Oh, wait. Yeah. Finish. Yeah, Only to meet Yane Vertene. Oh no. Oh. I told him your part finished. Oh no. Ah! Oh, God. You only lie about things on your resume that you can back up. Oh, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, God. <laughs> How you doing in Finland? <laughs> Is it? You gonna tell the Finnish guy that? Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yain. <laughs> what is that? Nine, that's German. <laughs> she said Yain. Oh, Yain. I don't oh. even know what that means. Nothing. Korva Pustaya. And that's all. Dude, run. Just run. Yeah. This is one of those times where you can fucking run. Yeah, you can just bail. Just do it. You just be like, oh, Bail. <laughs> Oh. Men like you are the reason I left Finland. This is so weird. Dude. Oh boy. Derek Smith from All City Debt Collection. Yep. Didn't check that call ID. Mm. How's your leg? Still broken? No. It, it's much better. It's fully healed and ready to run away from you. <laughs> yeah. We're Scandinavians. Uh huh. I'm guessing he's all good too. Like her. Of course. Yeah. It's the only way this mm. kind of movie can work out, but I don't like the way he said that. Yeah. That was a bit much. Kindly limp, stagger, or crawl to my office uh. this afternoon. No. Definitely rem <laughs> Shocks? I'm sure. It definitely reminds me of Domino's skill set. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, for those of you who saw Deadpool 2, also mm. just a Marvel comic character. This girl's got luck. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Unless the outstanding balance. Monday morning. The next step. Brutal. Personal contact. Oh. Okay. I do not want personal contact with this man. Absolutely. So sorry. I've got to go. Yeah. That's why you pay your debts. <laughs> yes, of course. You are getting your own ringtone. I mean, fair, but you know, you can't just ignore this problem, right? Yeah, this definitely has some similarities with the other Confessions movie. Oh, yeah. Anytime there's Confessions in the title, mm. the character's going to be a little bit terrible. Edgar West has taken a table at the charity ball. Well, actually, to be fair, she's a million times better than Lola. Yeah, no. I guess which two people from successful savings have been invited. And I don't think she's terrible. It's no. just like, oh, these are bad choices. Yeah. And that is mainly down to you. Uh, yeah. Everything's coming up Millhouse, huh? Mm -hmm. Are you okay? You have bluffed and gambled your way through this real hard. This isn't easy. Cool. Are you going to tell him something truthful? She's going to try. Uh, okay, do your it. Your tie does not go with your shirt. Uh, okay, I mean, the only way you can be honest is with fashion. I mean... Oh, no. You have to save her shopping. That's her love language. Look, it's something. <laughs> I get it. You don't. You have to strike with precision Hi. and get no. out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, the question is, why are you shopping? Well, she 
he's right. That tie not doing him any favors. Totally fair. Question is, oh. what do you want out of your tie? To any of the like few cis head dudes who are watching, what I really need is a tuxedo. At least once, try a pink shirt. There's such a fucking phobia towards it. And a black Veniche shoe. That's still a thing. Yeah, and also, yeah, he actually knows his shit. <laughs> Good for him. Mm. But yeah, I could have sworn like dudes in my high school thought pink was popular. Look, when I was selling suits and stuff, yeah. it was a constant hump to get over with really? a lot of dudes. That's not, still a thing. Not always older, but most of the time older. You speak Prada? <laughs> speak Prada. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Okay, you generally. If you know how to dress well, why do you come to the office looking like- Because <laughs> he doesn't Such care. I don't want to be defined by clothes or labels or family. That's right. How can it be a burn if he knows what looks good and just doesn't give a shit? That's fair. Why would you be defined by family? My mother is Eleanor Sherman. Yeah, that's right. He's kind mm -hmm. of a, a Nepo baby. We dressed her for the Mac Gala. Dude, yeah. Yeah. He knows. Congratulations on having such a fabulous mother. Oh uh, yeah, I'm sure he's hyped. Cheers. I grew up in England with my dad. Totally different from my mother. Interesting how opposites can attract sometimes. Depends on what you consider opposite, but mm. yeah. Yes. She wasn't interested until I was an adult. It was assumed that I would just fall into line. For the throne? For the throne. <laughs> it's consistently how things go, but she's yes. Get, she's getting confused because he's British. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the family business. What's the business? Put the collar down now. Owning stuff. Thank you. Real estate, internet businesses. Human lives. Yeah, oh God. Rich people. That's very much like in line with the throne. Yeah. <laughs> I chose to succeed on my own terms. Mm. What's Dante West? Yeah. Um, Do you have a take on everything in life? Yes. Do you should though. That's uh, definitely becoming more common now. Yeah. Like be opinionated. Yes. Have a perspective. Yeah. Just don't be afraid to discuss and change your mind. Precisely. And especially change your mind. Mm. What would your take on me? As an investment, you pretty much suck. Oh, oh brutal. You're a workaholic. You put in all these hours. But true. You don't rate the rewards. Mm -hmm. It goes into someone else's pocket. Sure, That okay. empty picture frame. Yeah. But you're a great editor. And now, you look like one. Um, I mean, he looks like a Bond villain. I mean... Or he wants to be Bond. Potato, potato. Either way. <laughs> it wasn't all work and no play. His outfit is much better just without the tie. Pick one. Oh my god, I love this one. Why did you buy me a fan? It's fucking boiling. Because we're going to dance. Oh. All oh, right. Okay. I don't know how to do this kind of dancing. I do. Sweet. I don't know if that helps. Oh, I well, guess no, if you're he, leading. Yeah. yeah. He can straight up just show her how. True. No. <laughs> and I guess part of the question is just, <laughs> are you okay at dancing in general? Mm. Yeah. And I mean, a lot of dances you can just keep simple to start off with at least, yeah. at the very least. But then of course they're going to go for like more complex stuff. <laughs> sure, but this is all the, the standard stuff you yeah. see like in every version. <laughs> oh, dude, okay. Do you like that there were some fuck ups though? Yeah, that makes sense. Love. Oh, oh God, wow, that's so awkward. Super uncomfortable. Oh no, don't, <laughs> don't do that. There's, I think there's no point I've being able to see the Australian in her more than right now. Yeah. You should have your own business. You know, Rebecca, about the ball, there's, um... I've got other balls for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe something that I know. Well, finally. Oh, the, uh, huh? that's right. Mine are tied up in something. <laughs> that's right, yeah. She, she invited them to dinner. Yep. Did he just straight up forget? Probably. Did he just never agree in the first place? No, I'm pretty sure I like went. shopping too. We're gonna look so major. Aren't you glad I convinced you to go with me? <laughs> I just remember she was saying earlier, like, mm. we're going to dinner later. Yeah. I don't remember his answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was trying to do. Yeah. Ah. Oh, great. Well, I'm gonna go. Go. Stuck out gracefully. Mm -hmm. Come out for a drink. You know Alicia. Yes, come out for a drink. Uh-huh. Uh, I have to make some calls. Just be like, yeah, no, no, thank you. Like, if yeah. he's into you, he won't be into her. Exactly. If he's not into you, then whatever. And no one wants to be a fucking third wheel. Yeah. Hey, Sus. Don't come home. I am home. Well, don't come to the front door. All, all Smithy. Yeah. The Smithster. Are you fucking? Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. What you tell him? Okay. You badly owe these people money. I told him yeah. that your aunt Ermin sure died of malaria. Are you fucking serious? She's trying to skydiving accident. Her parachute didn't open. She doesn't even exist. Yeah, true. Mm. Keep your track of a little lies here. No, I've made some mistakes, but I'm turning my life around. To be fair, most of what you've done up until this point were mistakes. Yeah. But I do like that she's at least recognizing some of her issues. Yeah. Imagine you wearing this dress. I forgot I even had this dress. And Fluke would love you in yeah, that. Yeah, I bet you did. Mm, yeah, that... Makes sense, yeah. She keeps calling him Fluke. Yeah. Don't talk about Fluke. Alicia bitch long legs happened. <clears throat> she seemed quite lovely, let's be real. 
<laughs> She's a girl with a perfect everything. Like, I know that they're, tr- they're supposed to sell her as a power bitch, but mm-hmm. she's not done anything horrible to her directly. <laughs> or in general. <laughs> yeah. Buy a new bag. There has to be a bag somewhere. Gotta open that closet. Yeah, stop you, buying shit. No, yep. you have so many bags. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, yep. Oh, no. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. You didn't throw anything away. Throw away nothing. No. Yeah, she is a hoarder. And yeah, to be fair, hoarding is totally like a, th- a thing That's that a people need illness. help with. Yes. yes. My name is Joyce and... I'm shopaholic. Okay. Six months, four days since I last used my credit card. I appreciate the, uh, you know, equal rep. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, guys totally shop hard too. Oh, absolutely. Mm. Did you hear that, Joyce? <laughs> Fucking brutal. What the fuck? I'm a shopaholic. I'm also a former NBA player. Yeah, wait, what the hell? Cartier today. How many did you buy this time? Seven. Every day of the week. Hold up. I swear I know this man. Yeah. I'm Rebecca Bloomwood. Hi, Rebecca. Hi. Came here as a favor to a friend. No, no, you didn't. Mm. I mean, I like shopping. Is there anything so wrong with that? I mean, it's how you the, do it. To the extent you do it, yes. Stores are put there to enjoy. To a degree, yeah. sure. Yeah, within moderation. Mm. It's beautiful. I love this one. <laughs> Sheen of silk draped across a mannequin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, stop talking yeah. about it like this <laughs> in, in this bed. room. What are you doing? Italian leather shoes. That's the best. Oh, my God. You're damn right. <laughs> you swipe your card. Stop it. What are you doing? I know. Thank you for the sharing. The joy you feel when you've bought something. You went shopping. Hand over a little card. Oh, my God. Are you literally whipping oh this room God. into a frenzy? This is the only way they could have made this funny and not just really sad oh. <laughs> and making a mockery of addictions. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty messed up. Yeah. I need to buy a new bag. Get a watch to go with that. <clears throat> oh my God. I'm really strong. My wallet is closed. Oh. Okay, no one went with her. No, <laughs> she pulled them back in. Okay, that's Ta-da. a good group leader. Rebecca, on the other hand, oh yeah. The fro- you froze? A credit card, yep. <laughs> Are you shitting me? Ah, I've heard of someone freezing your accounts, but oh. this is ridiculous. Have I seen absolutely everything? Oh god, yeah, that's just a fucking. She broke. Mm. Yeah. Hey. Hypocrite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You helped her break. Let's be real. Yeah. Get it all away from me. Those. Oh. Those. Yeah, it's it's just funny, but it's pretty messed up. You're unraveling. Oh, uh, no, yeah. that's not how you do it. Yeah. Shame. Yeah, she knew okay. that's what was going to happen. <laughs> that's not great. <laughs> that's something. Yeah, use a pin. Yeah. Oh, oh, my. Shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Catch her. Catch her. Yeah. Good luck. Get, oh, get, get, off, get off her. Get off. It's not that hard to yeah, get off why? of somebody. Oh my god. Yeah, why are you struggling so much to get off of her? How did she manage yeah, to destroy that her. so thoroughly? Yeah. Well, she is drunk. I need a glass of champagne right now. And I only trust you. Now have a gin and tonic? For some reason. Absolutely! She's not a waiter. Yeah, you'll see. Right, because she's dressed kind of like a waitress. Hey. Yeah. They want her on the morning coffee show. It's hard to ignore. <laughs> yeah, she's not happy about that, huh? Excuse me! Oh, wait. Dude, no, you're not supposed. Why are you in the kitchen? I need a gin and tonic and some champagne, please. What are you, a drunk? Yeah. Do you know how short staffed we are? That's fair. Go! No, no, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they're, they're wearing yeah, similar okay. dresses. I do see that. I'm not a waitress. I know you're not, honey. You're an actress. Oh, yeah, I yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she, she didn't understand the full extent of how the sabotage would go, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Hey. You have low fat dressing. I'm actually not a waitress. The famous Miss Bloomwood. Put it down and sit. Yeah, I'm not a waitress. Ah! Ah! Uh, trust. You have to look before you step. Mm. You'll be pleased to hear that the fish particularly powerful aphrodisiac. Give her two. Why are you giving aphrodisiacs around? No, it's not. Though. <laughs> We're the business meeting, man. That fish weighs the same as the girl on your last cover. Um, concerning. Yeah, that's very concerning. Were you a salmon or a trout? You were a trout. <laughs> I don't know, she's some kind of fishy. Imagine she was just like, you're a bitch. Thanks for saving me in there. Yeah, that could have gone mm. a lot worse. He's very smooth. He is. So have you filled your photo frames yet? I don't have any photos. Not yet. Maybe we could take some together. You could put a picture of Alicia in one. <laughs> Look at that bait. Yeah. Probably wouldn't be room for her spidery long legs. Dude. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, then now they're spidery. <laughs> long legs, vastly overrated. Okay, sure. I thought she was your girlfriend. Yeah, no, she's... 
No. She's just a woman who asked him out that one time. Exactly. It's not you. Oh. oh. Fucking go for it, man. You know, funnily enough, I, you boy. <laughs> I like these two together, but I don't think they really built it up enough. Um, I'm not know. saying they didn't build it up at all. I think it's there. They could have used more. I'm saying, sure. did I say it wasn't there? Yeah, 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 yeah. I say I wanted more of it. Is that Smith? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Telly will slap a lean on her house. You got to take her right to the edge of the cliff. Oh boy. Oh wow. He's closing in on the kill. I'm assuming that she's recognized who that is. Oh, that's maybe how, from the voice. Yeah, that's how you earn a commission. Jesus. Well, look, the debt collecting industry is a problem because yes. of how it's structured. Well, it's well when it's like, but, oh, you get commission on it? No. Yeah, I agree with that I part. Yeah. But he has to follow her. Yes, oh, for she sure. She has to pay her debts. Yeah, for sure, absolutely. The for debt collection industry has been um, exploited. Yes. And it is now basically just inherently exploitable. Yeah. Or exploited. You know what I mean? Precisely, yeah. Yeah. Also, isn't that like massively obvious? Yeah, that, that's weird. You're being incredibly sus. Thank goodness for redial. <gasps> Dude, mute. Put it on silent. Oh, silent you fool. that shit. You fool. Silent. Run. Do not answer this call. It's Derek Smith. Yeah. Oh, just dude. Completely outed yourself. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you're screwed now. You dug a hole yeah. and you just kept digging. Go hard, Smith. You're Mero. Oh, God. We <laughs> <laughs> got that far. Excuse me. <laughs> I've come for the green scarf, girl. Cool. Monsieur West has asked me to dress you for TV. I don't know if it's a good idea putting her on TV. Derek Smith is here. Cool. Can you oh, go boy. talk to this man? Becca yeah. is being stalked. Oh! <gasps> No, mm. no, no. I've had enough of this clown. I'll see him. Whoa! Yeah, oh dear. Don't worry, I've already mm. called security. So, uh. <laughs> will security work in this? Yes. This is our right. I have every right. He actually does kind of have the legal right. Yeah. Right? Do you have genuine style? I, who knows? <laughs> right now, she has a genuine problem. Yes, she does. This dress is good for you. It's genius, Salette. I was thinking a little more. Yeah, see? Why is there no color in here? Don't be a kiss ass. Ah, here we go. The one thing with color. Yep. There we go, yeah. You are sure of your choice. We'll see. Yeah, I do have to say, if you're going to make choices, make them the, your own. Don't decide I'm going to do this because I think this other person will or won't like it. Oh, yeah, no. Nah. Uh, oh, boy. Okay, yeah. well, here is the, the moment where she Not call, it's Derek Smith. shows us who she is. Yeah. More specifically, like the last one. Hello. You can play off. Yeah, it's intentional, but this is a... Uh, mm, being out to get somebody. He's perfect. <sighs> She sees her as competition, mm. and she should. She's good at what she does. True story. Is there a problem? What happens when you come across fierce competition is that either you be better or you fail. Mm. Trying to sabotage others is not good. Yeah. Okay, get up here. This is the bride's main stress. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they happy? She. I don't like it. I do not like it. Puzzly, okay? What's in that bag? Yeah, what? That's just a dress that Alette chose for me. Mom, can you go get a cupcake? Uh -huh. Yeah. Alette gets an incredible discount. You're still going to Shopaholics Anonymous? Yes! No. No. She shouldn't go with those. Yeah, no shit. Are you going to the Shopaholics meeting? Do me a favor and stow these in your trunk. Oh, yes. Doesn't look good entering a self help shop and go carrying Barney's bag. Oh, my God. <laughs> Leave it to me. Okay. My name is Miss Corch. I am your new group leader. Yep. Uh, Whoops. Uh, Why not try giving away the things you don't need? I really need those things. Yeah. Do you, though? Colorful. This is my bridesmaid's dress. This is going to Goodwill? How many of us have used that one before? If they think she's lying. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately. That <laughs> Wasn't that liberating? No. No. I mean, it should be, but she is not there yet. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn, shook her around like a fucking doll. The dresses I gave in. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been a mistake. No returns. I, I could bring back something else tomorrow, something better. Dude. Uh, no exchanges. I'll buy him. <laughs> if it's my best friend's fucking wedding? 110. What? Then yeah. <laughs> I'm getting it yeah. back. I don't have enough for both. This one's 20. Oh. Uh, which is more important. Yeah. Dude. Okay. I, I know what she did, but dude. Yeah. The girl in the green scarf, Rebecca Blue. Yeah, of all of the people to screw over. Could Ooh. have 
made some excuse for why she wasn't wearing the dress they picked out. Yeah. It got broken. It got damaged. Anything. Yeah. Anything. Because so much financial journalism is... It's really, really boring. Yeah. Yeah. But it's ordinary people that have the most money in savings. It's people like my mom and dad. Really? You know the amount of people I know who don't have savings at all? <laughs> yeah. It's actually the most valuable commodity in America. Trust. Oh. Oh. Okay. We want to get some questions from the audience. Yes, you, sir. Well, oh. Oh, boy. I'm having trouble with debt. Yeah, hey, Derek. <laughs> Not his debt. <laughs> yeah. Miss Bloomwood's debt. Oh, Very man. specific. I'm from the All City mm -hmm. Debt Collection Agency. My name is Derek Smith. Yep. Yeah. This man has been stalking Rebecca. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yeah. <laughs> I love that he's like, whoa. Mm. Store card totaling $9,412. Wait, wait, this is for nine grand? Yeah. He is her ex-boyfriend. No. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Derek. Oh, man. Derek's face. Oh, no. The more you look at me, the funnier that gets. <laughs> wow. He can really cop that on the shin, though. <laughs> my ex-girlfriend told me she couldn't meet me today with an infection she picked up in Finland. Oh, God. I I know he's kind of supposed to be the mm. bad guy-ish, but mm. damn, he's good. Is he the bad guy, though? Yeah. Is he? Is he doing anything wrong, <laughs> technically? He is currently in the hospital with depression. Oh. Yeah. Recovering from chemical fruit acid. Called back for second tour of duty in Bosnia. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Uh, how do you recover from this? You don't. <laughs> Will the real Rebecca Bloomwood please stand up? <laughs> oh, dun, God. Dun. Dun, 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 dun. Luke, you don't understand. Mm. No, you're right. I don't. No. Yeah, because of that, you don't know if anything she told him is true. I shop. Oh, so you lie because you shop. Why do you shop? You're an addict. Come on. Well, you're not giving me time. You have a problem. But time for what? To make something up? Actually, yeah. She wants time to make something up. Yeah. When I shop, the world gets better. No. Because you have some unresolved yeah. issues from childhood that you haven't properly addressed and you've used shopping as a coping mechanism. And then it's not anymore. And I need to do it again. It's just like any addiction. Yeah, You're just much. using it to run away from your problems. It's a result of something else every time. Mm -hmm. What about honesty? Credibility? Nah, she ain't got none of that. Mm -hmm. I only took the job to get to Ouellette. Ooh. Yeah. Say I'm sorry. Yeah. No? Oh, you're not sorry. Right. Uh, I guess sorry. there's that. She's sorry, because I think it just doesn't really matter at this point. Luke, I'm so sorry. No, no. There you go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, cool. The whole thing was a lie. Mm. Yes, that's exactly no, what happened. so he thinks that her feelings for him were also a lie. Yeah, which is, I'll be honest with you, if I was him, I wouldn't really oh, care yeah. if she was lying or not. Yeah, no, it, it kind of doesn't matter either way. Everything else is a bit of an issue. I mean, like, he also just got embarrassed on national television. Oh, yes, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah and Perfect she timing. has the dress. Is she wearing my bridesmaid's dress? Yeah, she is. In all fairness, I think she'll enjoy it more. Yes. <laughs> I can absolutely... Explain. Yeah, no, you you can't. Yeah, you can't write that one off, man. You can apologize and try to make amends, and that's about it. Mm. Explain. There is nothing you can say that makes this okay. Yeah, you screwed your friend. Yeah, real bad. Well, it's not even necessarily about how bad. It's just you disrespected mm, her. Yeah, it's one of the most important days of your life, you know. Yeah. Mr. Brandon allowed his objectivity to lapse. Well, even yeah, fucking Luke is getting screwed out of his job. <laughs> yep, I would assume that. Luke here is a little shattered. Mm -hmm. Rebecca was the most vivacious, inspiring woman, mm. and she lived a lie. It's true. Uh, yeah. I like that he's owning both parts of it. Absolutely. He's sad because he knows who she could be. Yeah. But all of those lies. Mm. Yeah. What she wrote in her columns, truth. Yeah, he sees both sides. Yes. Yeah. She spoke to people, and I loved it. That's fair. That she did. Yeah. It's great that she managed to find a boss who was looking to be... Rebecca, let me down. Progressive? The girl in the green sky. Never did. Yeah. If Luke and his attitude aren't fitting in, there's really only ever one solution. Getting fired. Or promoted? Getting promoted. Yeah. Get promoted. Start a new magazine. There we go. Okay. They're an empire. Mm. Driven purely by the voices of its writers. Okay. I feel like yeah. this doesn't really happen very often. Yeah, it sounds a little too good to be true. You have drive, Mr. Brandon, and vision. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it'll be tough going. That's the way Cy and I built this company. Yeah, none for you. On the day that we put that sign. Taking risks, yeah. I get it. Yeah. We knew that we'd made the right decision. So here's to our new venture. This is him realizing that he's doing that thing. Yeah. Again. I can't 
Probably. I'm going to kill her. <laughs> she got in his head. Yeah. When you put that sign above the door, you wanted to make your name in the world, didn't you? Oh, more than anything else. Damn right. Yeah. Uh, so do I. So do I. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you got to do your own thing. Exactly. I mean, that's what we're doing. Precisely. Yeah. <laughs> anything else, and you will ultimately be working for somebody else. That's fine mm. if you want to. Anything financially fit. Do you think it's too late for this? Yes. Oh, <laughs> wow. Is she a kid? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> okay. I don't want to think about that too much. Brings up way too many other questions. Sure. Reminds us of our childhood in Finland. Uh huh. Oh, right. Yeah. That's the obsession with Finland. She has the heritage. She just never learned the language. Mm. If the American economy, billions in debt and still survive. So can you. Yeah. Is it? I guess it is surviving, mm. technically. Yeah, survival's a pretty broad definition. Mm. The RV is worth about 13. No. Aww. I'll kill you if you sell it. That's right. Fair. Yeah, you cannot sell that. Completely defines you. Okay, no, not that. But like, you know, they worked their whole lives to have the vacation. Nothing defines me except you and your mother. But the good thing is that she doesn't want them to, unlike before. Sure. They're I, making the decision themselves. That only changes so much for me. I know. Because she's not digging herself out of this situation. What way can you? Yeah, a lot of struggle. Yeah. It's going to be fucking it's, it's hard. something that we would not be able to fit into the span of this movie. <laughs> I know, and I, I, I do get that. It's just, look, how many people actually have the opportunity to get bailed out? Yeah. Realistically, people, mm. you need to learn how to take care of your shit. Yeah, it is a privilege. Yeah, absolutely. Like, if I got myself into this kind of shit, you know what would happen? Mm. Consequences. Yeah. There's no backup plan. No, yeah, exactly. No, no one's waiting for me to pay them back. Yeah. <laughs> Precisely. Don't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure they do an all right job in showing that. Okay. Precisely. Owning up to it. Mm -hmm. Addressing the consequences. So she really did it. And it all worked. Mm, yeah, apparently. What do you mean? Alette Naylor is going to give her the one thing that she wants most. <laughs> okay, yeah. And now I am stuck with her. She didn't seem this angry before. Yeah. She hides it well. Yeah. Ah, thank you. Oh, man. Oh, shout it, Jenna. That Hawaiian shirt over the long sleeve. No, they're not from Indiana. They're from England. <laughs> oh, God. I went to see Mr. West to petition for clemency. He gave. Yeah, time to leave, Dad. Mm -hmm. And is Luke Brandon okay? Unfortunately, Monsieur Brandon. Oh, yeah, Mum in the background. Yeah. <laughs> he's no longer with Dante West. But he landed on his feet. Yes. He eels. <laughs> Dude, I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't resist. I'm sorry. Your appearance on that TV show struck a nerve with many girls. Yeah, and yeah. you want that exposure. Many, many girls have a lot of fucking debt. Many <laughs> people have a lot of debt. Yeah. Your column will be affordable fashion. Hmm. 500 words once a month. Yeah. Uh, However. 500 words once a month? Mm -hmm. That's nothing. I can do affordable fashion. I mean, I know we're all the sales. You got that for me? No, no. Did you though? Don't say that. She doesn't want to know yeah. that. <laughs> I'm not associated with you. <laughs> I did it, I did it. Oh, cake. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Mm. Oh, tiny. not tiny. <laughs> tiny. <laughs> yeah. The razor focus. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> piece of cake so small you could put it in a sandwich instead of a slice of something else. Could you? <laughs> Look at that Wait, thing. Is that, it's like is, the size of a pickle. Did that exist? <laughs> you take pieces from your own wardrobe. Okay. Like this. They're Louboutin, so. Yeah. Well, they're not affordable fashion. Not mm. at all. No. Fear not. Chialette, we print the prices very small. Yeah, see? Yeah. That's scummy. Mm. And after all, what are credit cards for? Huh? Uh, yeah, so she wants yeah. her to do the thing that she got in trouble for in the exactly. first place. Exactly, and here's the learning moment. <laughs> I know all about credit cards. Which they pull off really well. Final notices and debt collectors. Yeah, it's good to see her learning well, that she's learnt. Yeah, exactly. At this point. I find it funny that she wouldn't think that she would not want to take the job because of that. <laughs> mm. If you want to work for my magazine. I know, no, I really I want to work at a lead. What's the matter, baby? My conscience is talking to her. Yeah, morals. <laughs> That's what's the matter. Yeah. You want to do something but sort of feel like you shouldn't? That's it. I get heartburn. <laughs> he gets heartburn. <laughs> That's Brother, weird. That's a different problem. I feel like you're just not eating enough lettuce, man. Just go to the doctor, okay? <laughs> no, for real. G salad. Okay, yeah, fair. I've made so many mistakes. When I leave this house, the opportunity live with me. Uh, the opportunity. <laughs> well, then you should both go. You're Sherman. Can't you finance this yourself? No, his mum will. I'm asking if I am a good investment. Yeah. He's trying to regain his confidence in himself. Yeah. 
Well, like his understand. whole thing yeah. is like, no, I am going to be my own person. Very respectable. All right, people, this is it. Anybody who cries will have to cut to two. Oh. I mean, should they not be allowed to be a little upset? As yeah. long as they're doing it. Yeah, I know, right? Shed all the tears you need. Mm. I'm a shopaholic. She could finally admit it. I destroyed my career on national television. Lied to the men I love. Yep. Yeah. I hurt my best friend. Yeah. I invented a stalker and I don't even speak Finnish. You didn't invent a stalker. You just claimed a real person doing their job as a stalker. Yes, exactly. Which is worse. Yeah, <laughs> somehow. <laughs> but I have a plan. I need your help. I love how on board they all were to do this part, though. Uh, this is going to be great. Sale of the century. Wait. Forward to our employees. Nice. Yeah. Good work, bro. I know. This guy's amazing. He's like, what, two, three appearances? Yeah, and they're Fantastic. just fucking epic every time. <laughs> Uh, oh, moving up in the big leagues, mate. Mm -hmm. Got that bare wall look. Mm. You think that we can't afford to furnish it, but actually it was a choice. <laughs> yeah. He's just hip, man. Yeah. May I take a long lunch? What are you doing? I have an appointment. Oh, yeah. With whom? Person. Mm, with fashion. <laughs> Say a doctor. Doctor fashion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> an appointment with a green scarf lady. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose she has to uh, clear the decks. It's a woman with an emerald cravat. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Yeah. No, you don't get to take it. I mean, can't you just print out another one? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is a new business. We can't afford that much ink. Uh. Yes! Ready! Accessory! Yeah, ready! It's like a whole store's worth of There's stuff. So much stuff. Like, I know earlier you were like, yeah, she has a whole store's worth of stuff. I'm like, yeah. She does. No, she really does. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Open the door. Oh my God, John, get out of the way! Yeah. Don't get trampled, man. Yeah. yeah there you go. They'll kill you. Yeah. He just quickly bails. Yes. Now we offload the results of your habits onto all these women's habits. Mm -hmm. Thirty dollars is my final offer. I give you thirty dollars to get away from my table. Fair yeah. enough. Time waster. What about your mother? What would she like? So bright. Shit. These are real Prada shoes. They go with the same pink as the scarf and the handbag. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they should have trusted her. Hey, stop collecting stuff. Miss Patsinski. There you That's go. good. <laughs> Thank you, Ida. And now. Much appreciated. She's strict but fair. Yes. Which is funny because she's a complete fucking menace in the Owl House. Yeah, <laughs> fair Becca always had such fabulous taste. No wonder she wound up at a This is the one thing where I'm like, ah, oh, you can keep that. Yeah, right? Just one thing. She turned that opportunity down. She literally said that opportunity? Yeah, yeah, yeah. $50! <laughs> Anyone else? Bitch, come on. <laughs> 70. I have 70. $90. We can ruin all these people's finances. That's fine. Totally fine. $200. Yeah. yeah. You keep one thing. Mum's got the right idea. For sentimental reasons. Exactly. $250. The bid is against you at $250. $300! Wait, is that Dakota Johnson? I am not sure. Tell your friend on the phone. I'll match anything they bid. This blonde girl here. I, I, I'm like, I know her? Yeah, she does look kind of familiar. But I am wondering if it just, her outfit and look is just reminding me of Elle Woods. My bitter withdraws. So! I think you just really want to see Elle Woods. Yeah. Which I'd be I cool do. with. You know. Wait! Yeah, there you go. There you go. Uh. It's okay. No, uh, punch her out. <laughs> <laughs> One last fight over clothing. Eliminate the competition. Don't wear it with yellow. Never. Fair enough. She would never desecrate it like that. Oh, proud parents. Yeah. Her parents are actually really yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> They're cool. I like know that. that they were unwittingly the result of her problem. Some. You know, I'm, I'm sorry, the cause somewhat. Part. <laughs> you know, part of it. Because society. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, society. Mm. 16,500. You are a winner, man. <laughs> Nice. Hey. Clearing off that debt and then some. Yeah, okay, this part. Y you'll find this interesting. Okay. Wait, why is everyone looking at him like that? <sighs> Take a guess. <laughs> I mean, Smith may have been um, somewhat unpleasant, but he was just doing his job. Ah! Oh, Surprise. Uh, no. Yeah, the debt. What the hell is this? I'm doing exactly what you did to me, giving you what you deserve. So you spent a year making this man chase you around for his money. Well, not his money. The money that you owe. Yes. That's his job. Yeah. 9,412 and a quarter. Yeah, he didn't harass you. Yeah. You avoided him until he had no choice but to track you down. Yeah, and confront you on national television. Like, yeah. that was his comeuppance 
moment to you yeah. for all the shit you put him through. Yeah, he might be an asshole. He might even be a terrible person. However. But what you did mm. was still wrong? Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, he did seem pretty unpleasant. He, However. He deserves to cop it for other things, yeah, but yeah. you know, not from you. <laughs> yeah. How'd you get it back? I did a deal. Oh, that's sweet. Mm, I know. It's it somewhat feels a little late. Get her some flowers. To me, I feel, well, not like too late, but I feel like she should have got the dress earlier. Yeah, they should have had this makeup a little more fleshed out. Bax! I just want it like at least a day before the wedding. Yeah, not something. Not on the wedding. Like she's got enough stress on her shoulders. Exactly. Is what I'm saying. They should have been able to talk it out and have her friends supporting her. Mm, oh God, and those wholesome ruffles, way. the color ruffles. Yeah, we're just not going to talk about that because mm. I can't deal. I try to stay open-minded about these <laughs> kinds of things, but uh, some things that just test me, you know? Mm. <laughs> I like color, but when you wear too many of them together, it's not always yeah, great. Yeah, it's about, it's coordination. It's yeah. about coordination. So tempting. But we cannot. We must wear the ugly dress <laughs> with the ugly bag. <laughs> well, for the moment. I'm calling it what it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, like, she only has to go home and change. Yeah, true. Right? Man, the effects on those mannequins are so good, though. Surprisingly, right? It's such a good combination, I imagine, of VFX and live action. Probably. That, yeah, it just looks seamless. Yeah. Such a nice little learning moment. And then, applause. <laughs> <laughs> you did it, girl. You did it. But, I mean, it, it's great. Great, you know, showing how she's actually stoked with herself for doing the thing. Yes. I have self-control. Yeah, because these mannequins are a manifestation of her subconscious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope. No, 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 they're, they're real. Oh, God. <laughs> Surprise. You sold all your clothes and kept that. <laughs> well... <laughs> It wasn't a choice. Yeah, it was someone's choice. Mm. Someone needs to be held accountable. <laughs> Susan's wedding. wedding. I'm an investigative journalist, Rebecca. Give me some credit. No. Nah. <laughs> I don't wanna. <laughs> you really sold it all? I wouldn't put it like that. Yeah, who would sell literally everything? That's not smart. Right? <gasps> Surprise! Motherfucker bought it at the auction. He was the one behind the phone, right? The bidder on the phone was you. Yeah, mm -hmm. there you go. Bidder on the phone. But... But you lost. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. Both bidders were me. Yeah, they a were son of a him. bitch yep. <laughs> is what you are. Played us like a fucking fiddle. It's desperately important, Scott. I'm confused, though. Like, why do you have to bid against yourself? Are you just trying to make it look good? I don't know. I think maybe No one else was bidding. He also just wanted to, like, donate as much as possible. <laughs> like, after those first two <laughs> yeah, bids, know, it right? was just him. He was just like, shit, 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 <laughs> shit. It was so fucking expensive. <laughs> Why shoes. do I do this to myself? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's sweet. And I really liked him. I know, right? Mm. He's actually such a solid love interest. But I also like that they show, it's not like she doesn't like shopping or clothes anymore. Yeah. Period. Yeah. She's just got a better handle on it. It's just about understanding when you should and shouldn't spend money. Rebecca Bloomwood. I am a columnist for Luke's new magazine. Exactly. See, she's still got style. She's still got a flair. Dress borrowed from Suze. I'm a reformed shopaholic. Yeah, fair. It is amazing what you have time to do when you're not shopping. Yeah. I actually learned Finnish. Oh, good on you. Oh, that... <laughs> Yeah, see, that feels like a bit of just a touch of an overstep. Like, yeah. come on, man. <laughs> you don't have to. You don't have to. I can see why she did, though. <laughs> sure. I have a relationship with someone who loves me back. Where do you get your moves? It comes naturally. Oh, yeah? That's so? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Fucking brilliant. You're right. It's a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <sighs> Okay. And that's it. Yeah. That's the movie. We're going to end on that. John Goodman spinning around on his back was a perfect way to end this movie. It truly was. It makes yeah. sense to me. Overall, I enjoyed it. it was like, obviously, it was tough to get through the earlier portions when oh, she's yeah. making so many bad decisions, but it's the point. Yeah, that's that, the point. That's the point of the movie. Yeah. No, you know. I think this movie does such a good job of showing growth, mm. showing, you know, like how you really can pull yourself out of the shit. Yeah. Uh, because especially something like this, it only works in a movie context because in real life, she's an addict. Yeah. They're all addicts. They have a serious problem that yeah. will absolutely ruin their lives. It gets out of control and they don't seek help. So it's kind of yeah. like, this is the only way you could tell this kind of story in this comedic sort of light. Yeah. You I know? appreciate it in that sense. And look, I can say a thing or two about addiction 
And I, yeah. I like that they took this route with it, even though that happy ending is yeah, hard. It's possible. It happens. Hey, sometimes you got to see that it can happen. It does happen, of course. But, it, you know, it is a lifelong thing that you deal with. No, absolutely. You know, when you, you quit a thing, it's mm. always a temptation. I like to think that that's what the, like, the red shoes and the mm. mannequin winking at it yeah, was supposed yeah. to be. Sure, that's, it's always going to be there, but it's it's man- we can manage mm. it, you know? We, well, can, we can take steps. <laughs> and it's just about every individual decision. Every time the temptation comes up, you just got to decide, no. You know? you got to find something else. you got to find another avenue. If you can find a better way, that's exactly, always good. Exactly, yeah. I really appreciate the love interest for this movie so much. Yeah, he's good quality. And he had his own arc. Yeah. He had his own yeah. backstory. He had more fleshing out than so many other rom-coms do where they just have a one-dimensional character who's nice, yeah. but they're just there for eye candy mostly. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and while I do think this guy was good looking, I don't think that was his primary trait. No, he had a, very much had a personality. And while he was not combative, towards mm. her it wasn't those stupid bickering couple kind of tropes yeah he did disagree with and challenge her in many ways yeah, and it wasn't a pushover yeah anyway. and, that, and that really worked yeah. for both of them they both grew because of their interactions with each other and that is what a healthy relationship looks like <laughs> yeah that's actually true like a really good quality relationship is one where you grow together exactly you support each other's growth precisely that's a fantastic message for this movie it's a good time all around you've been with sam steph where the movie buds. buds.